Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am gonna jump today. I've not jumped properly in forever. If you watched my last video, you will see that I popped over a couple on Teddy, but it wasn't really jumping. I just leapt over a couple um, because I forgot to wear my boots. Um, so today I'm gonna jump, but I'm gonna jump Teddy and Billy. So Teddy is my older show jumping horse. He's, you know, he's done it all. He's absolutely fantastic. Um, Billy is one of my dressage horses who loves to jump. So I thought it could be fun today to jump them both on like a mini little course that I'm gonna set up in a second, I'll show you, and compare it, like see who who's better or, or what they do differently. I mean, obviously, Teddy's gonna be better because he is a show jumper, but I personally find Billy a lot easier to control because as a dressage horse, he is more used to the forward and backs, the collection, the, he's more on my aids. And obviously it looks a little bit nicer because he's more on the bits. So I think it could be really fun to just put them side by side, see how different they are, if they're different, what they do. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna jump. I'm probably going to start with Teddy. Might start with Billy, it depends, but I need to lunge Billy first because he has not jumped in probably two and a bit months so I'm brave but I'm not stupid we're gonna we're gonna maybe maybe lunch him first he typically does require a little bit of warming up and if he's not jumped in forever he normally leaps over the first few so maybe I don't really want to be on his back for that one so I'm gonna lunge him over a few jumps and and then I'm probably gonna I don't know I'm just I don't know who I'm gonna do first we'll find out in a minute but I'm gonna show you the arena and I'm gonna go and set up the jumps, get them ready, and then I'll show you the jumping. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So first things first is to set up the jumps. So when I say I'm gonna do a course, I do say that loosely because we don't really have that many jumps or poles. So I kind of make do with what we have at the moment. Obviously jumping is still very new to me, so I haven't felt the need to buy any new, <laughs> new bits yet. Um, also jumps are expensive. I don't know about you guys, but I looked online and I was like, whoa. So anyway, we make do with what we've got. And I decided to do a little double. Um, but then I realized that I didn't have enough poles. I had enough for three jumps and then one pole. So I was like, whatever, it can just be a placing pole. It doesn't matter. So I do take that down in a minute, but I always start with crosses because it's just so much easier. Um, it's good for the horse to warm up. And like I said, I haven't jumped properly in forever. So your girl needs to start. Also, I had to count uh, the strides, so I think this is right, but I think it's eight, so it's two for takeoff, two for landing, and four in the middle, so I had to count eight strides, and that's why I also left it as a pole, because I was like, you know, if it's not right, it doesn't really matter, because they can all canter over a pole. Um, a little one in the middle across the diagonal, just so I could go round. I had a bit of trouble with that little block, but <laughs> whatever. Um, also, I don't know about you guys, but it really stresses me out that the poles aren't matching. Um, what can you do? I dragged this in so I could get round the side because my horses are so silly when it comes to trying to move around it. But hair up, my mum decided to zoom in very close. Um, so I decided to start by lunging Billy. As I said previously, I thought about it and then I decided lunge Billy first, get that kind of thing out of the way. So I always lunge in a hat and gloves, particularly as you can really get bad rope burn if you do it without gloves. Gloves are always the safest thing to do and always wear a hat because you are still working with horses. So as you guys know, unpredictable, you just fit safety first. So Billy started <laughs> walking like, honestly, he was like a little zombie. He was so chilled and just look at him. I mean, he's barely even walking. He's at a snail's pace. So I just let him walk around for a few minutes like, and then asked him to trot, but he was still pretty slow, which is, you know, Billy's quite a chilled horse. So quite usual, but I did think, hmm, we're gonna have to liven this up if we want some, uh, if we want some jumps out of it. Um, I did anticipate him being a little bit cheeky over the jumps just because he's not jumped in forever and I thought he loves it so much he's gonna just have a fit. So I had to pick up the whip because um, as you can see he wasn't going anywhere fast. Um, 
I never tap the horse with the whip, you just tap it behind them. You make the, the snapping sound and that normally does the trick. So he started cantering, he was being really sweet, super easy and just really chilled. And then I think he heard a noise and freaked out. I can't remember if it was here or a little bit later, but yeah, there we go. He heard a noise and was like, well, hey. And I was like, okay, here we go. This is Billy <laughs> and he was, he was like, on springs after that so I tried to calm him down a little bit first and then I thought right let's lunge him over a couple of jumps you know safety first I don't want to be on the back of him if he's uh, gonna fart around so I, I warmed him up for a while canted him around and then decided to run with him and as you can see he leapt over that and had a little freak out afterwards um, it's all good fun though he absolutely loves it and as you can see here another little spook and a little it's weird watching this because that is not Billy as a horse. He's a very well behaved horse and would never do that with you on, but just a little bit crazy on the lunge. Um, so then I, I canted and trotted him the other way. I didn't film it all because, you know, it's boring. Um, and then I was like, oh, you know what, whatever, he'll be fine. I mean, he hadn't jumped properly without without leaping, but I thought, whatever, he's going to be fine. So I hopped on, give him a little walk around anyway, make him make him get used to me on his back. So I have a walk and normally, like I always say, I would walk around for 10, 15 minutes, but obviously he's already warm. So I did get trotting fairly quickly. Um, he was again so chilled. So I had to pick up a whip because he was not going anywhere in a hurry. Um, it was so funny. So anyway, I trotted him around and then got him ready to go over a couple of jumps. But I'm, I've put Teddy up in the left-hand corner for comparison. So we're gonna talk through it. So as you can see, Teddy goes up a little bit more forward, but both jumps look pretty similar there. Uh, Billy has much better flying changes than Teddy. I can't get Teddy's very well. And that's not to say he can, can't do them, he can, he's just does a show jumper flying change, so he kind of wings it in, so I still need to get used to that. But so far they look pretty similar, poodling along. Teddy just jumps it with ease, whereas Billy gets more excited, but both of them look pretty similar. I would say side by side, they're fairly equal right now. Um, like I said, I prefer Billy's flying changes, but I prefer Teddy's striding, because I never know with Billy if he's going to take off soon or late, but as you just saw there, he knocked over the tiny cross pole so i would say teddy wins that round or maybe actually it's equal billy's changes are better but teddy knocked nothing down so i don't know um so yeah then i rode billy again i put the middle jump up a little bit and look how cute he is but he jumps so funny like he brings his legs up and forward rather than rather than tucks them up and he kind of his body's like a long frame that like throws himself over um, anyway, give him a little bath after because he was sweating like crazy. So that is Billy jumped. As you can see, he was pretty fresh um, on the lunge. So I knew to lunge him, I do know my horse quite well. So I knew he was probably after not being jumping in a while because he loves it so much that he was probably going to be a little bit excited. So got all his hijinks off on the lunge. And then as you can see under saddle, he was an absolute angel. He was super cute. So. I decided I'm not going to go too high today. I think that would be silly. I think just get back into it, small training jumps, get the horses back into it, get them back fit. It's not really fair to not jump in two months and get back on and like trying to be jumping them super high because they're not fit for that either. So yeah, that's Billy done. I'm just going to get Teddy ready onto the next. Um, and now it's Teddy's turn. Look how beautiful he looks. So one, two, three like magic don't you guys wish it was that easy to tack up hi daisy cute little dog um yeah i wish it was that easy to tack up but look at his new trim so teddy is super bad with the clippers so we only clipped half off because he was getting very very sweaty but i think he looks cool i think he looks like he's got his racing stripes i mean obviously and it clips to a video where he's walking very slowly um but uh, anyway i think he looks cool so like I always say, older horse gets a good walk. I mean, any horse gets a good walk, but Teddy gets a really good walk, really good stretch, trot and a canter. Um, I haven't filmed it all this time because I filmed it in previous videos and I was trying to keep to the point of uh, jumping today. But yeah, I always have a little trot around and Teddy felt great today. He was just, he was fresh. Like you can see his little ears perk up because he loves to jump. So he saw them and he was like, hey, hey, I can't wait to go. 
So I didn't do too much around. I, I cantered him and I did some transitions. Um, always like to do those transitions, but today his canter felt so much better. I think he was just fresh and ready to go. So as you can see, like he looks good. You know, you never lose it. He's an old guy, but he looks good. <laughs> okay, he's not that old. Um, so anyway, it gets straight stuck in. Obviously I haven't filmed every section of this, but I try and show as much as I can um, without boring you all to death. So we're gonna go into the first jump and with Teddy, I have to hold him back a little bit. It's very forward, but then really nice, easy jump. It's like a canter stride for him. He just finds it so easy. Um, I do normally, when I go around a corner, have to try really hard to hold him back because he just runs. I think he's been trained, you know, to cut tight edges and to just go, but I have to hold him back and get him good. Nice little jump. I mean, these were too easy for him, so we put them up really quick. Um, I do really like jumping straights with him. And like I said, I didn't do anything crazy because he was puffing quite hard after like half a session. So I just want to build up his fitness again and I don't think he needs to do anything crazy. Um, but as you'll see in a second, we put it up a bit higher and he just, he gives you that sense of security as you go over a jump. You just pop over it and you feel like, okay, I could take this. I could go higher and higher and higher. He's amazing. Just easy, easy light work with him. Whereas Billy kind of throws his whole body at it. And I think Billy's almost a little bit, like he has no regard for himself going over a jump. He just wants to jump it. So he'd fling himself over anything, but that's not always the most sensible. Whereas Teddy knows his job. He, he knows what he's doing. He did knock that one slightly though, which is not like him. Someone's getting a little lazy. Or maybe I need to put my leg on more, you know, either way. <laughs> and that one he jumped um, kind of long. So he normally jumps very short, but you know, always throws in the odd, the odd surprise, <laughs> which we love. Keeps me focused. Um, he was helping me out there by landing on the right leg too. That was, you know, super helpful. But yeah, this is just Teddy. So out of the two, I think for jumping, Teddy is much better, but for the canter and trot in between the jumps, I much prefer riding Billy because Billy can so do a quick change. So that is my jumping done. As you can see, both horses adore jumping, but both have very, very different styles. Billy likes to throw himself over with his legs long in front and just kind of get so excited and energetic per jump. And I think what he lacks in skill, he makes up for in enthusiasm. And as Teddy, Teddy also loves to jump, like his eyes perk up when he sees them, but he is obviously a lot, um, so he has a lot better technique. He is a jumping horse, always has been. So, you know, he tucks up those legs. He knows what he's doing. His only fault for me is the fact he runs around the corners because he just can't wait to get to the next one. So sometimes quite hard to hold back and I don't want to let him like barrel through the jump because then that could be a bit dangerous. So that is both my jumping boys. Um, very different, very unique, both of them, but very sweet. So I enjoyed that today nice easy jump and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and i will see you next time